Miwako's taking a while. She said she had some papers to deliver, right? To the art room, I think? Yeah. Mm. Usami-chan's... she has... <laughs> Whenever I think... 20... that's what Yurki said, he... if that was a re... something... that's a... What's up, Iori? You look bummed. Huh? Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> We're going to Tsutsuji today, right? Miwako did say she wanted to stop by the record store. She wants that new Idol album, right? There she is. Sorry to keep you waiting. You know what? I saw Natsuno-chan just now, but... Hey, the bus is here. I was Inspector Onigishi. The sun's already gone down. It's because you were waiting on me. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, Miwa-chan. We couldn't even get the record you wanted. I can't believe all three stores were sold out. It's getting kind of late. My dad's a worry ward. Maybe I should call home. There's a phone booth over there. Are you gonna call? Yeah. Hi, Dad. It's me. Uh-huh. How'd it go? Pretty much how I thought. He wants me to come home ASAP. Figures. The train's probably fastest. tell you not to roam around after dark? Um, who's this geezer? I'm Heizo Onishi, police force, juvenile division. Uh-oh. You may know me better as Onishi the Ogre. He's gonna take us into custody. Judging from the uniform, you're from Sakura High. It's eight o'clock. What are you doing out at this hour? Um, well, we were shopping for a record and it got dark before we knew it. It's true. It's dangerous for young girls like you to be out on the streets at night. The reason doesn't matter. We're sorry. If it happens again, I'll write you up. Now hurry on home. It's dangerous for young... The reason... We're... If... No. Uh, well, well. So we meet again. You've it must be it destiny. Come with me. I'll show you a good time. I know the perfect place. Watch him. Onishi the ogre. Don't tell me. You're up to no good again. I haven't done anything. Yet. Run along home. Or would you rather come with me? <sighs> Damn it. Thank you so much. You had me worried there. Let's go.
Just hurry up. Pushed us in front of the station and forced us into this creepy alleyway. Don't think you'll get away with this. The police are on their way. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Wajima-san has something to say. So listen up, will ya? Hey, knock it off. You know, all my life I've been shit out of luck when it comes to women. Until now, I'm telling you, girl. The moment I saw you, I knew you'd be mine. <laughs> Get it, Wajima-san? No! I consider myself a man who minds his own business. But I can't abide by this. You need to leave those girls alone. Get out of here. Now. Who the hell are you? Another poser, huh? <sighs> Hard of hearing, are we? Don't say I didn't warn you. It's you! You better not be messing around. Seriously, Wajima really should quit. He keeps getting his ass on handed over to him. Oh, damn it! This bastard's a boxer. A tad rusty. He got a few hits in. Um, thank you, but why? Uh, mere coincidence. You're lying. Uh, they must have heard the commotion. Uh. That's right. Are you guys okay? We lost the fight oh, and ran away. A monster was chasing up and the person with Koto said, when did I... Oh, like, that's right. Um, and the... When... I feel much better with the policeman here. Thanks, Usami-chan. You should have just bolted past the ticket gate. You're such a slowpoke sometimes. Sorry. Anyway, how'd you get out of this mess? A really cool guy came in and saved us. You mean the one who ran downtown? Yes, that's right. I wonder what school he goes to. Well, I'm glad you're okay. We can leave the rest to the cop. Let's go home. <sighs> what should I do? Well, I'm glad you're okay. We can leave the... Let's go. Yuri chan oh, where are you going? I wonder where he... I might never see... If I don't run after him, I know I'll regret it. Even if he turns me down, I have to tell him how I feel. <laughs> Sorry, guys! It has to be him. He's nearby. Eh. Where did he go? He has to be somewhere. someone else.
He's gone. Suits will go after you too. Black suits? I'm being hunted. Do you get it? Now go home. All right? Oh! So that man I saw over there. I've got you now. Damn it. Like, don't even think of drawing your gun here. Watch this. seemed to be associated with the men in black. Did you recognize her? No, it was too dark. I see. You might want to hold on a little tighter. You're gonna fall. Uh, okay. Where do you live? I'll take you home. It's now or never. Hey, um, I know this is sudden, but I need to tell you I love you. What's this all of a sudden? Some kind of prank from this era? It's not a prank! I know. You already have Shinonome-senpai. It's probably awkward to hear this from me, but... Even if it ends up breaking my heart, I just needed to tell you. I needed you to know how I feel. <sighs> there seems to be a misunderstanding. Ryoko-san is not my girlfriend. Huh? I spent a lot of time alone back home. Parents weren't around, so she stepped in. Looked after me like a big sister. She's family to me. In that sense, I do care for her. I want her to be happy. That's all. You mean it? Middle school was a rough time for me. Haven't heard a thing about love since I was a kid. Until now, that is. So she's not his girlfriend after all. You know... It seems the two of us are bound by fate. What would you do if I told you I'm an assassin from the future who came here to kill you? <laughs> oh boy. It wouldn't matter. I would still love you. A guy whose name you don't even know? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel that strongly, huh? Didn't see that coming. My name is A. Sekigahara. A. Sekigahara. So, um, I haven't heard a no. <sighs> Let's get you home. Don't follow me again, all right? <sighs> I'll be in touch. Okay. What the actual fuck? Let's see, protagonist with total progress at sixty percent or over eight. I currently have ten. Right. Wait, currently have ten. Currently have ten. Doesn't wait. 
That means I finally have the requirement to finish Ace. Barbie Dam! I just figured, you know, you know all the best places to go. Hmm. Are you sure? Huh? Are you sure it's okay for me to decide? Uh, of course. In that case... You cool with that, Iori? Yes. Is that okay? Sure. What do you feel like today, Miwa-chan? You're about to find out. Oh dang! Skewers! Was that an izakaya? I thought those places didn't open till late. Nah, they, they open. But you can still order yakitori for takeout. I don't know. Where I'm at, they actually open up early in the morning. Though to be fair. Although to be fair, I'm living in... Uh... I'm not living in Japan, so maybe it's different in Japan. But yeah, there's an Iza Izakaya restaurant here where I'm at. And man, do I love its food. It opens it opens later than every other establishment, though. It opens around 11 a.m. and closes around 10 p.m. I've been wanting to try it forever. It's so good. Whoa, you're right. It's hot off the grill and charred just right. What the fuck was that achievement? What is this, a festival? Feels weird to walk around with this. <laughs> you're right. People are giving us looks. They say high school girls can get away with anything, but this is embarrassing. Just try a bite, Isami-chan. Uh, oh. Whoa, that is good! Mmm! I love the sauce! Well then, now that that's taken care of, do you have something to tell us, Iori-chan? Huh? Don't think we can't tell. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> Come on, spill the beans! I thought we were friends, Iori-chan! Are you not going to tell us what happened with your crush? We have a right to know! Did you at least get his name? Don't tell me. You just ran up to him and confessed. Uh... Did you at least... Don't tell me. You just... Uh... His name is... A. Sekigahara. Sekigahara? Of all people. You know him, Usami-chan? Well, uh... Let's just say you should stay away from that guy. Why? He's not a normal high school kid. He's involved in some shady business. I... I know our ways of life are worlds apart. Uh, it may be dangerous. It may be stupid. But I can't stop how I feel. Yuri. Fuyusaka. Uh huh? Sekigahara-kun. Come with me. What? But... You. What do you want with Yuri? Tell me, Kisaragi. There's no time to explain. Just come. Please, Fuyusaka. <sighs> Iori-chan, follow your heart. If you need to go, then go! Uh, right. Not gonna lie. I... I don't enjoy Iori's story that much. Like... Most of it is actually just as good as the rest. The only thing I don't understand is the shoehorn in love at first sight thing. That seems pretty odd. <laughs> ah well, I guess they just wanted to have a love story. 
Wow, technically there's already a love story in the game considering everyone is being motivated by their love to do insane things. I mean, Ida is motivated by his love for to Tomi. Ah, boy. I don't know. I think they just wanted to show in a legitimate corny sappy love story. Just just for the memes. Well, either that or just to reference how cliche old how cliche the romance movies used to be. Like it really was just this plot. It was like, hey, I just saw you and I don't have any idea who you are. But you wanna go you wanna go out? Yeah. Oh well. <clears throat> I mean, it's not that wholly unrealistic, in all fairness, considering that a majority of dating actually consists of exactly that. Going out to meet someone you don't know and getting to know them better and deciding whether to date them or not. Hmm. It's not that odd, to be fair. But I'm going off on a weird tangent. Back to the game. Do you still have those dreams? Huh? The premonitions you told me about. Yes. They're not actually premonitions. They're the memories of Chihiro Morimura. Our teacher? You received them in a memory transplant. <sighs> no way. Future technology does have that capability. You mean Miss Morimura is from the future? Correct. Just as you saw in your dreams. If that's true, are Amiguchi-kun and Kurabe-kun the same? Kurabe? You're acquainted with Tamao-san? Tamao? No, I meant Juro Kurabe from my class. Juro. So that's it. Why did I have a memory transplant? If I had to guess, no. It's better you hear it from her directly. From Miss Morimura? We'll be seeing her soon. Looks like we got here first. Let's wait here. Hmm. What is it? Um, hey, Sekigahara-kun, would you mind if I called you Akun? If that's what you want. <laughs> Yay! <sighs> What's wrong? Are you okay? <sighs> You know, I grew up just like you, right here in Ashitaba City. Well, 80 years into the future, that is. You saw it, right? The wreckage. It'll happen here any day now. Just as you saw in your dreams, this town will come under attack by the Daimos. If those dreams were Miss Morimura's memories, that's why you both came here, right? To fight the Kaiju. Not Morimura. Not anymore. At this point, it's up to us. Us? The compatible ones. Those capable of altering this world. You're one of them. But this world is beyond saving. Huh? Would you like to come with me? We can go back 16 years and try again. <sighs> the city may go down, but it won't take us with it. 16 more years should be enough time to prepare. We'll win next time. Um, I am starting to wonder if someone implanted Juro Izumi's memories into a Sekigahara. This is starting to become too much of a coincidence. What about Miwa-chan? She's still here, and so are my parents. What would happen to them? They'll be attacked by the Daimos, and that'll be it. Then again, it was already stated in his uh, story that how many percentage was he infected by 426? I forget the amount, 
but uh, I recall the state that he was infected by 426. Interesting. But your parents aren't real. <sighs> Chihiro Morimura came here from Sector 1. You are no different. <laughs> oh, come on. They're my family. If you decide to stay here, you'll perish along with them. I don't have a choice, do I? In that case, I'll do it. Just like in my dreams. I'll fight and protect everyone. And how do you plan on doing that? Oh. Juro has no memory of what happened, but I expect you'll have his help. You mean Kurabe-kun? What about you? Won't you be fighting too? Ryoko-san and I... We don't have much time left. I can't afford to stay around. Oh. That's the kind of guy I am. I don't deserve your love. Do you get it now? Eikun. <sighs> um... Well... You know what? I'll go check if Miss Marimura is here yet. Interesting. She looks just like in my dream. Interesting. I was actually expecting the small little kid, Chihiro Morimura. Explain. Why did you bring her here? To expose your secrets. She has a right to know. Miss Morimura. <sighs> Go on. Tell her. <sighs> Miss. <sighs> Go on. Is it true? Are my dreams really your memories? <sighs> Why would you do such a thing? If you're not gonna talk, I'll do it. You wanted to write your memories and personality onto Fuyusaka, right? So you could someday take over. What? She was trying to assume your identity. Fine, I'll explain. That was my intention, but things have changed. Oh? Operation Aegis is all we have left. So then, what's going to happen to me? Well, I hadn't gotten to the final step. You'll continue on as Iori Fuyusaka. You do carry my memories within you. But even that process was left incomplete. Juro made sure of it. Damn! Thanks to him, my memories are nothing but dreams to you. You mean... The Kurabe-kun I saw in my dreams? 426. Did you perform a memory transplant on him, too? No. I have nothing to do with his current state. If it were up to me, I would have changed him back into the old Izumi-kun. Oh. Your memories just hit me. I understand how you feel. <sighs> Is that why you transplanted the memories of Tamao Kurabe? It can't be. Tell me your real objective. She's not lying about her feelings. I can tell. Yes, I transplanted memories into Tamao Kurabe and Shu Amiguchi. I had to deliver on a promise I made. But there has to be a reason they were compatible. That's what I need to know. That's why I called you here. <sighs> tell me. The truth is, I am no longer human. <sighs> When the reset occurred, the world that I was in was taken over. At that time, the real me died. Then what are you now? An illusion produced by universal control. That's all that's left of me. What? Now you're introducing... Now you're introducing illusions? Are you serious? We already have androids. Being able to download your personality into said androids and being able to download your personality into biological clones of yourselves. Now you're adding illusions. You're an illusion? I, I don't understand. What, are you a ghost in the shell? Yes, that was a really good anime, by the way. And How did that happen? Isn't Sector Zero supposed to prevent that? Going there allows you to escape to the next world. The concept of living through a reset is something of a misunderstanding. In short, it's not possible. Sector Zero is unique. 
Going there is not akin to a typical sector shift. Instead, it scanned me in as data. And with that data, Universal Control did its work. It created a perfect replica of me in the next world. So that's what a loop really is. There are 15 humans capable of carrying out the plan. What plan? The plan made in the year 2188 to continue the species. But I'm no longer a part. I'm nothing but a doll held captive in the five sectors. I'm incapable of fulfilling my mission. So you turn to the version of you who was born into this world, Iori Fuyusaka. In time, she and you would be one and the same. That's how you plan to reclaim your humanity. Seki Gaharakun, I gather you intended to make use of Sector Zero as well. You would be correct. And you planned to put a stop to Operation Aegis, didn't you? Yes. By killing you. Huh? Are you going to shoot me right here and now? You can't do that! <laughs> if Operation Aegis were put into motion, this world would be cut off from universal control. What would become of you then? Data stored in Sector Zero can function independently of UC. In other words, you'll continue to live, human or not. So that's the way it is. Ryoko-san and I, we never had a way out in the first place. Aikun! Okay. Um, Chihiro Morimura, don't need Chihiro Morimura the lolly? Seriously, what exactly is UC? I... I suspect that this is a... I suspect that this was a simulated program. Now I'm starting to wonder if... If the 2188 humanity actually did master dimensional travel. Or maybe this is going to be <laughs> Sora no Otoshimono levels of uh, of trickery. They are they are all just sleeping. This is all a simulated dream. Akun, hey, I'll protect you. Let's do this together. <sighs> if only I had the courage to take your hand, that would have been for the best. I repeat, we interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. Oh dang, this is the very first prologue. The first tutorial. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumicho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. It really came. Only one thing left to do. A Sentinel. Wait. Akun, wait! First you show up at school all of a sudden, and then you pull me away to a place like this? Stay still. Huh? What? Um... Uh, um... I'm not ready for this. <laughs> Found it. Odd place to be shot. Whoa, what is that? Well, pretty much where Megumi shot you in the girls' bathroom out of pure jealousy. An activation switch. It's used to call your sentinel. Don't move. That should do it. If what 426 said is true, that's all I need to do. I registered my sentinel. Sentinel number 15. It's a robot used to fight the Daimos. It was mine. But it's in better hands with you. I really was worthless in the end. Don't say that. Fuyusaka, I... Huh? 
Never mind. It's nothing. Just forget what Morimura said, all right? Believe in yourself. Uh, they could Okay, I'll give credit. That's actually a really epic line. I may be just a student, but now I'm a student with a fucking giant robot! I really wish I could say that in real life. I'm not gonna lie. the final battle that's another one down hmm 